Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.10.3, Escort Visitors and Monitor Visitor Activity. Now, this one seems pretty obvious, but believe me, I've been in many, many, many facilities over the years where essentially the, the visitor signs in at the front desk, and then, you know what, Bob's your uncle, their escort just walks away. And then they've got unfettered access to the whole facility. Uh, you know, again, this is one of those areas that it seems kind of obvious, but really it's not, especially if you've got a visitor that's there for, say, the entire day. So, again, the rule is all visitors have to be escorted at all times, and you've got to monitor their activity. So if we were answering this, we'd say implemented. The organization also utilizes a visitor contractor logging system, which provides visitor and contractor identification, U.S. person status, entry, and exit time stamping. All visitors are escorted at all times while in the secure facility by trained personnel who are assigned to escort them. So again, any visitor gets a single point of, per, uh, point of contact or person and their job is to escort them while in the facility. Um, we love the, the method where that person, you know, the escort's name is on the visitor's badge. So if they're out there walking around and their escort's not with them, they should be immediately questioned and maybe returned to the front. So again, lots of different ways to handle this, but most importantly, the idea is simple. You don't want unescorted visitors in the office. Now, I'm going to bring up one topic of many, of course, that I think is very important. What about janitorial staff? Okay, janitorial staff that come in after hours. One, you've got to lock the CUI down. Two, if you can't secure the CUI and you don't know who those janitors are, you can't have janitors in after hours. I know it's not popular. Okay, uh, I get it. But a janitor that you don't know and hasn't been trained and is gonna be exposed to CUI in your building, okay, that's a visitor and we have to escort them. So how do we deal with that? Couple things, one, consider hiring someone in house. Two, obviously for smart companies, that's not really an option, so what do we do? Uh, well, what we might do is we might instead, we might say, hey, janitorial company, can you please send someone during the business day when our personnel are going to be there so we can escort them? So again, I just I wanna bring that up because again, uh, it's not uncommon to have an assessor ask about that. And again, a lot of the janitorial uh, teams like to work at night. Uh, and if they're gonna work at night, they gotta give us dedicated personnel that we can train. So again, I won't get terribly deep into it. We can answer more specific questions on that one-on-one, -on -one. but hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP 800 or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Uh, love the content we're putting out for you. Help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash that subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's gonna eventually have to go through it. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Watch out for those unescorted visitors and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.